sucker right on back. Oh, really? It's just water. I just cleaned the dog. It's just regular water. Wow. Okay. Sorry. I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, yeah I believe in you, me, you, me, you, me, you, me, yeah Let's stay here for a life Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel um, I hope you can see me from this angle I was trying to figure out the best way to be able to lift this rice. Um, so, how are y'all doing today? Good, I hope. So, today is a long-term food storage video. I will be storing this rice into this food grade container bucket. I got these buckets from Walmart. And I paid a dollar for them. I have like um, four of them. Today, I think I'm just going to be using two to do the rice in. And I have two 20-pound bags here. And then I have a, another 20-pound bag here. And so these buckets, they had icing in them. I got them from the bakery department. Um, sometimes you can get them for free. Sometimes you can get them anywhere between one to three dollars. So I would, you know, say go check it out before you run out and get them from uh, Tractor Supply or whatever. But make sure that you have that rubber gasket that's inside right here. That's going to create that seal that you need. That's going to make sure your rice is protected. Um, I will be adding the rice to this container along with some bay leaves and that is to keep it fresh and to keep the bugs out. So let's get started. But before we do, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you like this video most of all. Turn on your notifications and share out this video. Some reasons that you might wanna start um, storing your rice is because if you recall, rice was running out on the shelves in the stores. Um, if you've been paying attention to the news, you know that we're about to switch presidents. And with that, there may be new lockdowns. There may be, you know, stores closing early or people just in fear of are running out and doing that kind of scared shopping. So that's why I try to do my stuff when I don't have to and I can focus and I can think of what I need. And you won't think of everything, you know, but write it down. So start off with this bag because it's already open. And first of all, I put these bags in the freezer um, for 48 hours. You can do it anywhere, anywhere between 24 and 48 hours or 72 hours. Um, I think I did 72 hours on the other two bags, but I did 48 hours on this one. And that is so any larva, any um, kind of pest that might be in it from processing is no longer there. And you don't have that to worry about. So I'm not going to make this a long video because it's really quite simple, y'all. Pour some. And then you put in some of your bay leaves. Y'all, you can cook with bay leaves, so don't think that that's going to give your rice a bad, it's not going to give your rice a bad taste at all, because I cook with bay leaves. And this will store for a good 10 years plus if we don't go through it. 
and then I'm gonna add some more to this container and then I'm gonna add some bay leaves to it. This is a workout. So if you're thinking about starting your preps, where should you begin? Begin with starting at a um, 72 hour prep. That means three days worth of food. And then work your way from there to, to five days, then to 10 days, then to 30 days, and you'll be on your way. Don't feel like you have to run out and do everything at one time because you do not. But if you're in a crunch and you don't have anything, <laughs> you might want to get out there and get it. I'm not, you know, trying to scare you into doomsday or anything. I'm just going to put a few in here. This um, bucket, I don't know if I said it, this, this container is 35 pounds. So... That's what that's holding. Let's see if you can see in there. Come now. So, I love the smell of bay leaves. I really do. Now we're going to put the top on. And then I'm going to show you how I'm storing my um, working prep prepper pantry rice. This is for the um, long term. So this will go in my prepper room. I will label it. I'm also going to, because I saw someone do this, I'm going to cut this label out and I'm going to tape it onto my bucket so I know what it is. But I also bought some labels to just put on the top part of it also and date it. Don't forget to date your stuff. So let me show you how I'm going to do my rice that we use on a regular. So this container right here, as you can see, I had a big thing of skins in here. No, I didn't eat all of these skins, but I ate a good bit. So I will be storing my rice in this. I'll wash this container out and that saves me money on buying something else to put it in. This will be our everyday use well we don't eat rice every day anymore so this should last us a while so i'm going to put some rice in here and then i'm going to finish filling up my other bucket make sure that you dry your containers out you don't want any kind of moisture in your containers because moisture brings mold Rice in here, and I'll add the rest of it. This is where I'm probably gonna make a mess. Pray for me. I'm gonna put some bay leaves in before I add the rest of this rice. Even though we're using, I don't have to put as many bay leaves in here, so I'll probably just put two. Be our everyday use, like I said, and it's just that simple. Oh, I forgot to put my bay leaves in, so it's not that simple. No, it really is that simple, y'all. And I've been putting it off, but I'm like, let me get this video done because I have other things that I have to prep, and these buckets are in my way. 
So I, now I can put them in the prepper room and be fine. I only put like two bay leaves in that um, container right here. So I'm bring my other one up and I'll probably buy, not probably, I will buy one more bag of the, um, let's see where this one goes. Bro. I've already used some out of this 20 pound. So this one only went to here, as you can see. So I think I need another 20 pound and that will do me and what doesn't fit, I can finish putting in this container over here. We're gonna snap our lid with the rubber gasket on it. Do not use the ones that you get that don't have the, you hear that pop? That's what you want. That's what you need and just go all around it and make sure it's good and sealed. See, I still had a piece that wasn't sealed. Just like that. And I'll double check that other one because I don't know if I did or not. And again, I will label it on top and date it. And I will also, and I'm just using a long grain rice. So it really doesn't matter which um, label I put on here, they're all long grain. I'll just make sure that I have a label here as well. And that's it, y'all, for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up. Again, if you are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Tommy. I am married, have been married for 18 plus years. I have four kids, two are grown. I have two teenagers in the house and five grandkids. And so we are planning to make sure we are prepared for anything that might happen. Not doomsday, but anything that might happen, whether it's from prepping our food to actually um, raising animals and processing animals, our own um, meat chickens, and hopefully meat rabbits. And so in closing, I want you to know that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. So be the best you that you can be. And when you are that person, please go out and spread God's love with distance because of Rona. And y'all, make sure you're prepared. Make sure your family's prepared. Make sure um, your kids aren't looking at you or whoever it is that depends on you and your household where their next meal is going to come from. Because I've been there. Um, I've not always had and i still don't have a lot of things that i would like to have or need so with that in mind um god is granting us the ability to do what we can do when we can do it so go out and do something good today love y'all bye okay so I'll tell everybody bye while you feed them fish huh all right bye <laughs> If you ever feel alone, you all in my Cause yeah, sometimes we'll feel oh alone. Uh -oh. In a second, I'll be right there. Turn around, let it rain. Turn around and let it rain on me. Don't you be afraid. Like a Friday night on the weekend I feel blessed and free I just don't want this moment to 